What's going on guys? Welcome to our season where we'll be playing, reviewing, and enjoying every game on the N64. Let's press start. Aerogage is a racing game similar to Wipeout and Extreme G Racing released in 1998. The game was developed by Locomotive Games and published by ASCII Entertainment. Let's take a look. Alright guys, today we're going to be playing Aero Gauge on the N64. On the first screen you're going to be presented with four modes, Grand Prix mode, Single Match mode, Time Attack mode, and Versus mode. Next is going to be your Options menu, then Record view. You will have ten different vehicles to choose from. In game they are known as Aero Machines. There are a total of ten available, but only five are unlocked initially. This game has many quirks. One that was frustrating me was the boost at the beginning of the tracks. The AI seemed to have it, but I did not. I had to do a quick search on the internet because the game never taught me how to do it. Right from the start, the game showed me how precise I would have to be on my every move. I completely wiped out the first turn I took. The game feels fast paced and you have to be flawless with your actions and controls in order to keep up with the AI. One wrong move and you will never see the AI again. Speaking of wrong moves, let's show you with a quick clip how the game reacts when you crash in one of its narrow passageways. The arrow machine breaks the plane and causes the outside of the map to show causing a big distraction. When I first turned on the game, the intro sequence and music alone almost got me hooked. But unfortunately for the game itself, I had to play it. As much as I wanted it to be fun, it was too frustrating for me to enjoy. Now it's time for our 5 punch video game review. Although the graphics and level design look really cool and are definitely unique compared to other games, it's often misleading when a sharp turn or tunnel doesn't appear until you're about this close from it. Another thing is that it's very distracting whenever you start glitching out of the tube or, or the small tunnel you're driving through right before you have to start racing again. At first, the controls of the game seem like they're doing just fine. The sensitivity of the controller definitely matches the fast pace of the game. It becomes very difficult to keep up with the AI when the controller doesn't respond the way it's supposed to. It also isn't very fair that there isn't a boost button on the controller but the AI can boost as much as they want. The overall difficulty of the game is actually pretty difficult. Obviously in order to, to win the race you have to drive faster than the AI. And the AI can boost as much as they want and sometimes you can because the controller is unresponsive. The map is created almost in a way that it makes you crash more often than you should. If you crash, you basically lose the game. In multiplayer mode, you can only play as two players instead of four. It'd be better if you could play with more than just two players because it, uh, it makes it more fun because you're all playing in the same difficulty rather than playing by yourself and having to play against a bunch of AI. And the character and story development in this game don't really apply. So after playing the game for about four to five hours, I've come to the conclusion that I really don't like it. Although the graphics and the soundtrack are actually pretty good, everything else in the game seems to fall short. The $8 price tag on a loose cartridge doesn't really seem right. Uh, the game is definitely worth a little bit less than that, so if you could find it at a bargain, I think you should pick it up. Complete and box versions and they cost you around $40, so unless you're a collector, I really don't think you should buy the game. There's definitely a lot of other racing games that are, that are worth the $8, or even spend a little bit more cash on a better game. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Press Start Arrow Gauge on the N64. Stay tuned for our weekly episodes on our N64 reviews.
Yes. <laughs> Finally. We did it. <laughs>